Arts and Culture. G'day and welcome to Arts and Culture. Today we're going to be looking at this guy and this guy, John Lydon and Guy Debord. We're going to be trawling back to the archives to look at a performance by British post-punk band Public Image Limited on the American television show American Bandstand, way back in 1980. Intended as a run-of-the-mill lip-syncing exercise, the band refused to operate refusing to mime and generally sabotaging the whole event by dragging the audience on stage, swapping instruments, climbing platforms and generally taking the piss. The performance is interesting and there's really two performances going on. Firstly and most obviously there's the performance of the band playing, or in this case not playing their featured songs. But secondly there's the performance of rejection, where the band rejects the rigid TV format and instead has success in transforming the whole event into a situation of utter chaos. Anyway, that's enough intellectual wank. Let's have a look at the actual performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please greet Public Image Limited. Would you like the audience here in their seats again? They're all right here? All right. You want everybody out? All right, you can all come. Everybody out. All right, one more time here. Public Image Limited. To understand the performance fully, one needs some background. Public Image Limited was a band formed out of the ashes of seminal punk rock group The Sex Pistols and put together by John Lydon, formerly Johnny Rotten, who had left The Sex Pistols in 1978, feeling cheated, disillusioned by the growing uniformity and commodification of the punk scene and frustrated by the restrictive and aggressive nature of rock and roll. He was joined by Keith Levine, an early member of The Clash, who felt similarly frustrated. Pill were both humorous and confrontational, committed to dismantling the whole rock scene. They wallowed in a shared passion for dub and did the unthinkable, campaigning against rock and roll by talking up disco and dance music. In contrast, American Bandstand was a highly rating, highly commercial music program aimed primarily at teeny boppers. Thus the appearance of Public Image Limited, an arty little punk rock band full of contrarian pricks, was always going to be interesting. Furthermore, the performance can be seen as a battle of ideas, as the band stands up for the intrinsic power of live performance, rejecting the notion of lip-syncing and a passive audience in favour of interaction with a highly active audience. Indeed, Lydon rather succinctly summed up his attitudes to audiences when he famously declared, I'm not here for your amusement, you're here for mine. 
Furthermore, the act can be seen as an act of general protest against a sanitised commercial world, comparable to Guy Debord and the situationist's idea of disrupting the spectacle, the eyes of detournement, or as the French would say, detournement. Debord believed that authentic and direct social life had been replaced by its representation, which he described as the decline of being into having, and having into merely appearing. Debord believed that the mass media or spectacle was complicit in allowing this to happen, that passive identification with the mass media had in fact supplanted genuine activity. Thus it was the situationist goal to wake up the passive spectator through radical actions that would disrupt the flow of media. Debord termed this detournement. But finally, having drawn all these highly academic links between situationism and the punk and post-punk movements, it's important to give John Lydon the last word on the matter, who dismissed any of these connections as simply ludicrous. Tune in next week for more Arts and Culture. Arts and Culture.